Hello old friends, how are you all doing? I'm still alive. Um, I've been doing a lot of work recently on uh, my mocks, as you can tell. from I think you, I, I mentioned that in my last video. Got my results back, got some good results. Not going to bother mentioning them though. Um, so yeah, I've been working on a few things in Minecraft, one of which I'm going to be uh, starting and improving in the next few weeks or months, depending on how how much effort I put in. It's planning to be, I plan it to be an 8-bit ALU with up to 16 instructions and 8-bit inputs, so I've got some inputs here, 8 here and 8 here, it'll be the right way round, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, same with that one. 4-bit uh, opcode here, my normal design of just, you know, putting a torch on the back and uh, putting the power through in another block because I don't like I don't like how off is on and on is off when it's like that I prefer it the other way around so um, that's the this is the beginning of my ALU I'm literally wiring up the uh, first few lines of input to the uh, first instruction first uh, function which I think will be adding because it always is but a thing I might want to show you here is cool is my 24 bit uh, memory bank I just decided to put it in because I thought it would be a nice feature of my new world. Uh, it's got three layers of 8 bits of memory. These are all D flip flops, which are separated by the glass blocks, so they're only too wide. They're really compact. Red line carries one input from the bottom. This isn't very uh, efficient because I could obviously, you know, make uh, towers and things, but I think this is the quickest way without doing fancy stuff. I just wanted to get it done, really. Uh, I'll show you the inside of it actually now. And that was a fail. Okay. So uh, the inputs from the control panel come under here and they get transported up. And when they get transported up, they go through all three layers. They will go through here, which will take it either, th uh, it'll go left into the red. It will go up into the blue, and it will go up again into the orange. And the way the flip-flops work is that they all receive the input, but only when you clock it, i.e. you refresh its, its uh, contents, you update it, if you will. Will it Only once you've done that will it store the current input. So if I find some glass, I can show you it working. Oh, and I got a new texture pack as well, which you can probably guess. So, uh, as you see, we have offs all along. This is these are some previous memories, uh, memory bits. If we see here, we've got two on there. These are all turned off because the power is sent to all three registers: the red, the blue, and the orange from the purple inputs. And uh, when the power is sent into the D flip flop, if it's on, then uh, when you press the button, it will refresh what's in the bank to on so nothing's on at the moment because it hasn't been refreshed but if we refresh red it will turn everything into the current state of purple which is off on on off and so on but only to it will only update the register that you desire so if I wanted to update all of them to that then I could just click all of them if I wanted to turn them all off they won't turn off until you've clocked them so that's pretty simple clocks come out the back here. I wanted them to be nice and stacked so I'd try to make it as compact as possible. The uh, red layer comes out here goes along into this yellow block and goes into the red D flip flop clock entry points. The blue comes across goes up the yellow and goes into the stone which will go again go into the uh, clock entry points. Then the orange comes up this yellow goes up here, goes into the stone, and goes into the orange ones. Green are the D flip-flops, pink is the bus, orange is the, uh, the bus again, blue is the third, second bus, and red is the first bus. So that's the 8-bit count, 8-bit, uh, 24-bit memory bank. This is a single D flip-flop, a demonstration, if you will. Let's wire it up over here. As you can see, it's off, right-click it, nothing happens. Turn it on, right click it, red stays on. It won't change until you clock it. So that's uh, an update on what I've been doing. I haven't just been sitting around doing nothing, as I usually do. 
Uh, next few videos you see will be about this ALU, I expect, and possibly some other additions to my new creative world. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year, and I hope to see you again very soon. Goodbye.